Hola mis amores, bienvenidas otra vez a mi canal. My name is Ashley. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure you do subscribe on the bottom of this page and be sure to click that bell notifications to get notifications every time I upload a new video. If you have social media, you can follow me, Makeup Artist 27. That will be Facebook and Instagram. And if you do like the video, be sure you do give it a thumbs up. Let's just go ahead and get started in today's video, guys. Alright guys, so on today's video I'm very excited because this is the first time I honestly receive a big, big package from an app, influencer app. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Um, it's just a, if you're an influencer, you can sign in and you can do a bunch of surveys and the reviews and all that stuff. And you get emails of the box, the box, box, and you get opt in, opt out, and then if you opt in, you have to do a uh, like a questionnaire and based on that that's when they say oh let's send her this product or whatever i don't know if you i don't know if they actually, they actually look into your social media or i don't know how that goes but i get an email on may 23rd about the vox box and i opt in and i did the survey and then on june 4th i get an email oh your box box is coming and I just saw that it, I just saw like the little um, banner that says Urban Decay product. I was like, oh, Urban Decay, nice. A new product. Never I imagined what I was opening the box off. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm, what I got on my box box. I'm very excited. You should have seen my face. My mom was like, you really got that? I was like, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So here is the box. Here's the influencer box box very simple the last one i got was really small because it was just like a mascara and like a some kind of eye serum so this one it's a little box in here more bigger and i was like oh my god i wonder what i got i didn't know what i got so um first of all before i start thank you so much for influencer for considering me and sending me this product for testing purposes this was complimentary i didn't pay anything but thank you so much for sending it to me for you to show my subscribers this new product that that is about to come out it should be come out by today if this video is already up by the day that they letting me post um so yeah here is the box and when you open it i get the urban decay naked palette this is the new palette from Urban decay ultraviolet i saw it online and i was like oh my god that is so pretty i love the colors first of all like i have most of the urban decay palettes and their formula it's super good um and I saw the palette. There's only one that I don't have. The Naked Cherry is the only one that I don't have. I have the smaller one, not the bigger one. But most of them I already have. So it's like I already love this company. I've been following following them for a long time. I have one of their first, first, first palettes ever. Like I have Smokey, the Urban Decay 1, 2, 3. I have most of them. Seriously, I have all of them. Most of them. Especially the naked ones. There's are the other ones that I don't have, but the naked ones I have pretty much all of them. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna give you the little thing that says in here. It says uh, what it is. This is a vivid ad addition to the Naked Palette family. Naked Ultraviolet Eyeshadow Palette lined up with tough peachy neutrals, trippy lilacs, magnetic violets, and a black light purples. Gives new meaning to the world neutral. In, re in reducing mattes, metallic and micro shimmers grab attention while a transformer shade adds on a pearly holographic finish. Use these verbally ultra blendable shadows solo or layer to create an endless eye look with a pop of color. Urban Decay is 100% control free which this means this is not tested on animals. Amazing. We love that. Um, and then it tells me to go uh, to the influencer profile, check out the Naked Ultraviolet campaign, try your makeup, your Naked Ultraviolet palette, and you have to review it, of course. Um, and then, of course, it tells me that I let them know that this is free and just for testing purposes. And yeah, super excited for this. I believe uh, it should be the same price as the other ones. I believe it's 54 
this is all the things that has okay let me see if i can go to the um all right so the price was actually 49 not 54 49 for the palette on the urban decay website i'm right here right now all right so let's just go ahead and get the palette so here is the naked ultra violet palette super pretty i'm a purple girl purple and pink it's like the most be beautiful colors the, this a uh, palette retails for 49 dollars which is not bad at all decent amount um you can find it on urban decay ulta whatever other um is it stores has it available and yeah i totally love it love the packaging love the packaging super beautiful uh, let's see i was gonna check something else i don't even know what i was gonna check so when you go in um into the naked um campaign on the influencer app you're able to see you receive this product before it's available to the public so if you choose to post about the product on social media please wait until 617 today is 614 i'm three days ahead recording the video to make it available on 617 or 618 one of those days okay so um So of course, uh, what I want you to do is to make sure you do all the following instructions, um, post about it, review about it, and also you'll be considered for other campaigns, which is what I want, of course, we all want that, to get products and review them and bring you guys the most latest products. And yeah, I'm very excited to try this on. Um, we're gonna go open it and I'm gonna do swatches for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. And let me just open this the palette it's of course it's the same as the other ones like the packaging it's hard I think this is actually from the smoky one let me see I lied I do have the cherry one so look I have I'm gonna show you guys what I have now that I'm here now that i'm here wow guys i can't believe i have all this wow i'm really a fan okay i'm gonna start in um in the order so here's the first one it's probably like super expired or whatever but it's there for the memories um we had then we have the naked two. Oh, that's that's the one i don't have i don't have naked oh no I do have Naked 2. Naked 2 is right here. Naked 2 is right there. Then we have Naked 3. Just this one. I need to go back to this um, palette. I have Naked uh, Smoky. I really like this palette. It's really, really good. Love it because it's good for every time you go out. Like, do like a really smoky eye, really dark. Love it. Um, then we have the Cherry which is beautiful also i think i got this in a sale i bought this when this was on sale i think it was either sephora or ulta i don't know but it was like after really the whole hype happened and then they were on sale so i took advantage of it and then i did get the naked honey which is super pretty too it's like more into gold tones if you're a gold person this is a really good palette to have so yeah i do have all of them all the naked palettes wow wow i'm such a fan <laughs> so yeah the packaging is uh, it's the same as the honey and like not the honey the smoky smoky and the naked cherry have the same package you know always comes with a mirror it has all the shades it usually goes from lightest to dark 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 um we have some mattes we have some shimmers we love that and i'm gonna do some swatches for you guys right now 
okay so I'm gonna give you this zoom in look at those colors I'm trying to oops look at that All right, guys, so those were the swatches. Those colors were stunning. I totally love them. What I love is that they look different. They have like different tones. They're like base, basically like holographic, like they put it here. I'm gonna read you the back of the package right here. That gives the little description of what they look. We're breaking the color spectrum with the new Naked Ultraviolet, which is, well, I guess this is the vibe they were going for and or supercharged lineup of 12 intensely pigmented mattes metallics and holographic shimmers is a lucid dream come to life get um euphoric cool tone light purple with a blue shift or daze which is a golden pink shimmer with gold micro pearls while you ch will channel your inner cyber pink um punk cyberpunk violet shimmer with pink micro shimmers Yeah, the the colors are like super super different than most of the palettes that they have, which is they when um like they never have purples. The the only close to that was naked cherry. Like everything was like always like nudes and like neutral, very like the same. Not the same, but like it was always neutral, nothing colorful. Especially on the naked palette. So they have been, been changing that up and I like it it's different and naked palette it's um naked palette by uh, ultraviolet it's very very unique i love the holographic kind of vibes that it gives in here like i don't know if you guys can see that uh, it's very hard to see that but this is super pretty so we're here i don't know what i'm gonna go for Probably something pink and shimmer. Of course, you gotta use all those colors. There's, like, there's mattes, but no. Like, if I would like, like, a really, really pink matte or stuff like that. I'm gonna try to use the Urban Decay um, brush. It has a fluffy brush and more, like, a very, very um, small and, like, inner, inner corner kind of brush. I like it right so i'm gonna try and use that all right guys so my eyebrows are done and i did use the benefit cosmetics um precisely my brow pencil the color five or number five and i did um when i did um line them i did did the kevin aton a con whatever his name is and to prime my eyes i did use the p louis base all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started let's do this quickly right here um and i'm gonna start with hacked which is that kind of like caramel very light brown kind of color this one right there um so very 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 good pigmented I thought it was gonna be super more lighter than that. All right, so I have here the color warning, which is the beautiful um, pink. This one. That one. And I have here Luxie 231, which is like a buffer brush. And I am going to put that like in the inner corner, I guess. All 
Okay, now I'm gonna use um, Cyberpunk. Just the color right next to it, this one. And I'm gonna put it like in the middle. Now I'm gonna use Hilphoric, which is like a blue purple color right next to it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut the crease when I'm done, but I'm just gonna pack that. I like the vibe that it gives. It's very holographic. I am going to cut the crease and I'll be back guys. <clears throat> All right guys, so I did cut the crease. Now I'm so confused on what to put in the, in the crease. Like I don't know what to put like inside. I've been playing around with colors in my hands, see what combinations, and I decided on two, which is gonna be VR and Lucid, which is the, um, this, like this. This one is kinda like an ice, kinda mint color, and then this one, which is more like a glittery kinda shade. It doesn't have a lot of, like, the reflection is more glittery, you know? It's not like, a base color like it's not a pink glittery it's very different I don't know but I'm gonna use that I am going to use that one and yeah I think I'm gonna use that let's see let's see how it goes if not then I don't know let's use VR in the inner corner like right in the front and I'm using um, JS10. I'm gonna spray it to see because I don't know how it's gonna be. So spray it and put it in the. Same technique, I'm gonna put it on the brush. And then spray it a little bit. And we're gonna put that like all the way. Really holographic. Of course, when I clean that up, it's gonna look better. I'm just placing it there. So what I'm gonna do guys, I am going to do this eye, clean it up, put the rest of the face and then we'll see what we're gonna put on the under eye and we're gonna pop a color on the inner corner. Yeah, and then we'll be done with the whole face and the tutorial. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna finish the rest of the makeup. Alright guys, so I finished the rest of the makeup. It's coming along. It's coming along. I'm liking it. So I'm gonna give you the details on the products I use on the face so you guys can see. Take a look at them if you haven't tried them. Um, foundation, I did use the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is the shade um, 50 CG. It's a little bit darker. It's like really tan for me. So next time I do buy it, it will be a little bit lighter for sure. Concealer, I did use the Tarte Concealer. This is the Shape Tape, um, and this is the Light Medium Sand. For the powder, let me see, I'm getting it. I'm, I mean, uh, For the setting powder, I did use Fenty Beauty, and this is the Shape Butter, one of my favorite setting powder. Um, what else? What else? Um, let's see. 
For a little bit of the bronzer, I did use the Alamar Cosmetics. And for the blush, I did use Alamar Cosmetics also. You guys already know my favorite two in there. These two. Um, I did a combination with those two. For highlighter, I did use um, a really nice one, which is a Milk Makeup. This is holographic highlighter powder. Since we're working on holographic um, eyeshadows, I did say why not. Let me try it. So this is super pretty. I don't know if you guys see it on camera right now, but it's super pretty. Um, I'm going to probably put some more because I get exaggerated. But uh, this is super pretty. I like it. I like it. And what I do is just, um, I like to spray it. So you can get a little more effect on that so um, yeah I like it super pretty very holographic you can tell um, I don't know if you can tell here on the camera but as me in person I can tell like the different shades it has like a pink tone and something like that um, lashes I did use the Ardell gel liner black um, this is for the magnetic lashes and I did use the Ardell this time um, my last video I did use the kiss lashes but this time I did try the Ardell I was having a little bit of trouble with them but I got them on um, hopefully yeah it's just this one is coming off now <laughs> I'll fix that right now all right so one thing I'm going to do with some, um, put some of the, um, a little bit of these shadows on the bot on the bottom of my eye. I just don't know. I want to use cyberpunk. I want to use cyberpunk. Because that one looks more purple than the other one. So I'm going to use that on the bottom. Use on the bottom real quick. For the inner corner, um, there's nothing crazy I want to use. I kind of want to use a highlighter. See if I have like a white. I, ha I do have like a white highlighter. I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild. Same brush. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. kind of looks like the one outside from nice all right so what we're missing now is just the lips and I already had that done I already know what I'm doing I'm gonna use um I have here um from what is that collection Jeffree Star um, blood loss collection he did the purple shades and i'm gonna be using um this is amir royalty which is beautiful and i have here uh, royal armor to top it off which is like a glittery holographic kind of purple so i'm gonna use this one first and then this one and Alright guys, we are done with the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Honestly, the Naked palette is beautiful. I love the colors of the shimmers. A lot of these colors are very shimmery and holographic, which means they have like under like a lot of tones with it. Like if it's a purple, it's a purple pink. Like it's honestly a beautiful palette. Not for everybody, of course. It just depends on your like what you like what you don't like so it's just it really depends just look at it if you want to get it you can go go ahead and get it it's 49 dollars i love it i honestly i love it like honestly any look with this will be amazing like especially just one color it i just did it more kind of dramatic because i wanted to play with a lot of the colors to give you a little details of how they work um but yeah they're just different holographic tones like most of them like the purple the this three right here the pink the purple and the bluish purple they're just they're just it's 
kind of on the same shades but they're just different holographic colors when you look at it very closely i don't know if you're gonna notice here but maybe on the little swatches that i did for you guys but yeah and honestly i just wetted my hair just to look more fabulous but yes guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like it and subscribe before you leave i'll see you in my next video guys